All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're up here at Leganton, and what they did, this is W25105, and what they did is they turned a train at Cherryville, and they're bringing it back northbound now. Go figure. And this is gonna be a loaded coal ash train, so this all sound pretty good. They uh, brought this train to Cherryville to turn. Usually they turn them down at Duke, right up above the SFE line, which is where this train come from. Come from the uh, former Mountain Island uh, uh, coal facility. And they, they'll usually turn them at Duke, but for some odd reason they brought them up at Cherryville. Which I'm not complaining because we don't get a lot of action between uh, Holly and Bosnick here, so we'll take anything we can get. It'll start doing this all the time. Turning the coal ash trains of Jerry, but I doubt it though. But they did it today and we were here to grab it. Yeah, this is a totally loaded coal ash train, so they're having problems. Not having problems, but it's a bit of a struggle to get it up this hill. This is a stiff hill coming from South Fork River, comes all the way through Lincoln up to Boger City before it really crest. Call it they called it the Lincoln Hill. And back in the day when they ran coal that direction, they ran coal northbound from the Clinchville down to Monroe you would have instances where these coal trains would stall out on the hill. In fact, I remember several years ago, I think the Dash 9 was coming up uh, by the Gaston Street crossing and blew up. <laughs> this thing just puff of black smoke and I think oil and then fire. It was, it was pretty nasty. Wish I'd have had a camera back then. But and there's the shoving platform which signifies the end of the coal ash train. Alright ladies and gentlemen, yeah it is. CSX W25105. 
And they're coming northbound by Lincolnton after bringing the train to Cherryville to turn. Go back towards Monroe and then eventually Sanford. Aye.